a beautiful day to just start the beautiful Friday. Well, there is still coronavirus going on, but you know, just stay home and relax. And pretty much there's no school, but they have like, well, some kids here have like worksheets to do because school's not gonna let them do whatever they want. They have to just do uh, work. So, yeah. So, yeah, you know, just relax and get to enjoy the day. What's wrong, Toad? This will be over. What will be over? The frog. The frog thing? This should be over as well, I agree. So, I'm gonna turn them the opposite way. And they're gonna know. Even if they don't, I'm just gonna live with this. I'm getting really sick of this, man. Really sick of it. I can see that. These people are idiots. How am I a frog? How am I a frog? You're not a frog, you're just a mushroom. I don't even understand anymore. Me too. I feel bad for Toad because people call him a frog. But she isn't. I don't know. Let's see how this episode is going to go. If you're feel sorry if you're feeling this way. Wow. What's up, frauds? What are you what what are you here for, huh? You're wasting your own time. Literally here for no reason. Bro, like are you freaking serious? Get out! You are telling us to get out. Bro, look at this dumb loser right here. Yeah. Getting on my nerves, you're making me more mad. Oh, what were you mad about there, huh? Yes. Wow, a frog wants to tell a human to get out of their face, huh? Wow, this dumb frog, dude. I know, right? That's why people call you a frog, because you're ugly and dumb. You Japanese frog? Yeah, how does it feel when you call me Japanese now? I don't know what you want. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what's making you say this. I don't know where you got this from. But all I know is that your guys' visuals are very, very, very negative. If I would have to take you a test on your vision, you would be positive for the negative. Yes, I know that may not make sense, but guess what? I'm gonna tell you right now. One day this will be over. This war against people calling me a frog, I will end this. It will go out. Even if I get older, you may still call me a frog. You may think I'm wrong, but guess what? Not everything lasts forever. Everything is limited. Life is limited. Our lives are limited. Nothing is immortal. We are not immortal. You guys are not immortal. This frog thing is not immortal. It will come to an end. I am getting sick of this. Whatever you're gonna call me a frog again, and I am not Japanese. Forget about my name. It's not making me a frog. Dude, if you got this from Peach, huh? And you hate her, huh? Peach is an ugly idiot. Why are you listening to her? Huh? Why are you listening to other people? This will be gone. I hate this. I hate frog. I would not want to be called a frog in any of my videos, even if I did. I will not complain anymore. I'm complaining right now. This will be gone. Yes. God! Nobody wants to hear you! To your ugly voices and your ugly looks and your ugly insults! Frog's not an insult anymore because it's old! Yeah, Japanese wave! Why? Ah, 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 no! Get your dumb beak out of here! Get your. Ugly looking dying flower self out of here and get your 
beacon's off out of here now! Turn if you call me a frog! My dad was my age. Even when he was your guys' age, when he was like, when he was like a 17 year old, like an 18 year old, even a 20 year old, people were still calling him a frog when he was going to college. And he, and he felt the same as I did, like right now. No one's calling him a frog anymore. He stopped it. He knew it would never last forever. I could be much like my dad, not like my sister. I'm not following her. I'm older than her. I'm out of her. I, I do not want to refer to her as my sister. She puts me down every time. My mom puts me down. Even my mom calls my dad a frog when she gets mad at him, at me. She even calls me. A little bee. And you know what? I think it's inheritance. It's... It's inheritance. That's probably what people thought. Either if it's inheritance, or if he just never knew about it, and just knew my name was Toad. And then there's Toad's worth. My dad, the older one, who changed this happen again, I would not call him a frog either. If my mom would be here, she would call my dad a frog every time and care about Toad more and Toad's friends and come and bully us, me and my dad. Life is hard. Life is tough. The only way you can make it easy is Get these negative thoughts out of you. Enjoy life as much as you can because it's not, it's very challenging. Think about what Daisy says. She thinks she's perfect. And the other 
Girls. No! If, if no one wants to give us a chance, that is okay. We won't give them a chance either. Guys, don't put yourselves down. Don't take other people's word for it and make it hurt you. That's not what's gonna lead you to happiness and it's not gonna make life easy for you. It's gonna make it much harder for you, but it is already much harder. Spend life on gratefulness, spend life on just enjoyment and make yourselves happy for as long as you live because friends to you we were precious uh, special friends to Patrick everyone well not nah, peach your friends but I'm telling you told I didn't know you were this oh my gosh that's actually I, I'm, a touchy I'm, I'm story tell, people are gonna start being distraught about this yeah they're gonna get angry it's over I took out all my thoughts. It's done. This is the moral lesson, guys. Do not put yourself down about what other people say. tragedy will fail. And you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the frog. This whole frog situation. I'm telling you, this will pass on. This will go away. You will start to forget about it once I am out of your life. And for those who reach out to me, and for those I reach out to, because they are my best buddies, like Spongebob and Patrick, or even Diddy, or even Tails, or even Sonic. And even my dad. Help out each other. Reach out to those who are lonely. Reach out to those who, who feel like they don't, they're not belonging. Make them belong to something. Make them a belonging. Help them become... It's... It's... Inspired.
every day I experience this? It was probably from one inheritance is why you're calling me a frog. You see my dad? My dad. He was worth living 70, almost 70 years. But before that, when he was very, very young, from elementary to graduation, even in college, People called him a frog. But you want to know something good? The inheritance I got to say this in front of y'all is to say he moved on from this. He ignored people who wanted to call him a frog. Because that's not what mattered to him. Because he knew that everyone was wrong. He proved everyone wrong. He made the right decisions. And he became a better person. So I'm here to tell y'all you can do that too. But if you're gonna put someone down, it's not gonna give you a chance. It's gonna get worse. You may feel bad, you may not feel bad. But if you don't feel bad, you're taking the chance to say. But for those who reach out, who are kind, you're taking the road. control what I think about what you say about me because it does not matter to me anymore so I'm gonna you're gonna have to start thinking about this whether you want to stop calling me a frog or keep going the way you want it because it's different for me now I'm not gonna care about it because it's different for me I moved on this is inheritance and this is what is true perfect, but you can have a good life, you can have a bad life, everyone has troubles, everyone has struggles, there's not even one per- if you were perfect, you would have no struggles in life, I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is how life was made. This, this is how life was genuinely created. I am past this. I am at the peak. I am at the maximum. I am at the top of the tower. Where all you haters are down there and you cannot do a single thing about it besides call me a frog. Which it does not matter anymore because you get insulted too. Everyone gets insulted here. You guys may think I look like an ugly person. I'm not ugly. I'm just imperfect. SpongeBob's not ugly. He's imperfect. Patrick's not ugly. He's just imperfect. Mario, maybe Luigi's are perfect. But they're not ugly. No one was created ugly nor pretty. Is that understandable? I'm looking at you, Peach. I'm looking at you, Daisy. I'm looking at you, Wave. Da Wendy. To death. And I 
I just want to give my thanks to Patrick and Spongebob. You guys have brought me a long way in this dreadful time where I was under this crisis of the fog. You guys put me out there and you reached out to me. After that, I acknowledge you. My two best buddies on Earth. And to Marcus for supporting this group, supporting me. And making sure that I was belonging here. That these people belong to you. And that you knew what you were supposed to be doing. And that no one will ever, ever would do something bad to you. And if they did, you know what to do about it. And to Mario and Luigi, these two. You raised me up. Peach, you can roll your eyes all you want, but they are my friends too. And you're not. Mario, Luigi, you both are very talented, and you brought me into talent. I never knew that I was never going to be called a frog. Mario, I'm sorry you had a wife that did never understand. Luigi, I, I know I'm happy that you don't have Daisy, but she called me a frog, but it wasn't for that reason you broke up. It was because she was annoying. And now she's going to get that from Peach. much easier for you because you know it doesn't matter to you those words you told me that inspired me so much I cannot thank you enough I cannot emphasize enough how good you are as a dad and I just thank you. I acknowledge you. Yeah. That was very touching. I can feel it now. I was just crying so much.
is supposed to do. Oh, Todd. I'm very proud of you, boy. That was amazing. Mario and Luigi, thank you guys for hearing me out and for knowing that you guys are the ones who can that, make it happen. That was a great one. That was a great confession. This is the only confession that will change my life, Marcus. And you changed my life, too. Yeah. I've always been good. Yes. It's for real. Woo! You know what? What is... Oh, I get a little... Did you know you're perfect and we are perfect? 
God is perfect. You're imperfect. I'm imperfect. Yeah, but when we... Shut up, Wendy! You're not perfect at all! Even your dad's not perfect. Dad! Go ahead. He can hurt me. It's fine. What is it? He called you imperfect. Yeah, well, he's imperfect as well. That's fine. He's right. Quiet. Is quiet wanting wanting me for him to be me? <sighs> Why? Stop laughing! I hate it when you guys laugh. Don't say boo! Boo! Yeah! 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 Woo! Boo! She sucks. Sonic. Daisy. Sonic? Daisy. What? Wait. No! Don't say boo at us. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, yeah, keep saying boo. I love it. Wow, it's, it sounds so good for all y'all guys. So, uh, yeah. Uh, see you later, imperfecties. No, don't listen to him. We are imperfect. Imperfect. No, we are perfect. No, we're perfect. Perfect. Imperfect. No, blue. No. We're perfect, okay? Yeah. Well, that's it for the episode. Thank you guys for watching Marcus Smart TV. We're not gonna make this video, this thing too long, but. And we're imperfect. No! Why was it that funny? Yeah. Don't say boo to me! Mm. Alright, see you next time! Okay, Patrick? Yeah? So, uh, how are you gonna do? You know, just prevent from people from coming at us. us here. Yeah, like, who cares if they hate us, man? We're still good, by the way. But more people like you than me. But I mostly hate Paige. I agree. <laughs>